Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back. Another blind battle beers. Uh, this one was suggested by a couple people. The last video that we just did, we did uh, Coors Banquet versus Hams. Um, there was multiple people who said do Coors Banquet versus Miller High Life. So I just so happen to have both of these in my fridge. So we are going to do it. Um, these are fairly close in ABV. I think Coors is 4.9 and High Life is 4.6. So um, I think I had mentioned in the Coors Banquet video, I've not had a lot of Coors Banquet in my life and I feel like I've had quite a bit of Miller High Life. So I feel like I should know Miller High Life, but <laughs> I also thought that Hams was my favorite or best macro lager and that wasn't the case last video. So that's why you do it blind. <laughs> that's what makes it fun. So um, these two beers per usual look the exact same to me. They might look different to you guys on camera. I don't know. This one, I guess when my helpers poured it had a bigger head because there's some lacing on the glass right here. Uh, but they both have the same just kind of pinky finger of head. Uh, both have plenty of carbonation. There's little bubbles in the glass streaming up to the top. They look like macro lagers. They are light. They are straw yellow. Let's get into it. Don't like to make these videos too long for you guys. We'll go with the one on this closest to me first. <sighs> smells like beer. Smells like barley malt. Smells like, uh, what does that smell like? It smells like cereal, Cheerios. I know these aren't brewed with wheat, but it reminds me of bread. I think I did that Coors uh, Hams video last weekend, but I still, is this Coors Banquet? This smells like beer. It's got a good just beer aroma. It doesn't smell sweet, and I remember High Life being sweet on the nose. <sighs> yeah, sourdough bread crust. And just like kind of that malty kind of beer smell. Cheers. It's crisp. It's light, it's refreshing, it's thirst quenching. It was warm today. Uh, not too sweet, I like that. It is very bready, malty. Tastes like American macro lager, not offensive. Uh, a little bit of grassiness, not hoppy at all. It's good stuff, dry, very dry. <sighs> this one doesn't smell like much. God, I fucking hate when that happens. This one has a better nose. Better nose for sure. This is just nondescript. It's just so, like, like doesn't smell like anything. Damn you. Cheers. Yeah, this one just kind of falls short. It's super light, almost watery. And it's got a weird, what is the aftertaste of that? What is that taste? I don't know what that taste is. It's not like off-putting, but it's not great. Is it sweetness? It's almost like, <laughs> I don't, like I know the beer is not bad, whichever one this is, but it almost has like a stale flavor to it. Strange. It just doesn't smell like much. I mean, it's got that kind of cereally grainy beer thing, but it's not a like a strong nose. It's light. This one too. I mean, it's thirst quenching, um, but orange is far better. Orange kills red in this one. I mean, maybe it's just whatever the cans are. Yeah, this is just, I mean, they're both really light, but this just tastes more full-bodied, more straightforward, more intense beer flavor. Um, when it comes to American macro lager, I know I always laugh. I'm like, oh, it tastes like beer, smells like beer. But this is like, if you were to really think of what you know, American macro lager, when you're thinking of these two beers, looking at these two glasses, this is that one. So um, since it's sort of fresh in my mind and I was really impressed with Coors, I'm gonna guess that orange is Coors and red is Miller High Life. And it's a bummer because Miller High Life, I typically enjoy, um, but 
side by side next to this one, if this is cores, it absolutely crushes high life. It's not even close. Um, so I don't know if I'm right, but we'll see. If orange is cores, it smokes Miller High Life. Yeah, crazy. So, <laughs> I mean, Coors Banquet is just, I don't know, man. I didn't realize that it was that great. Um, it's really, really good. It's just, it's so much, the orange one is so much better. I read that right, right? Let me just make sure. I'm almost positive I did. <laughs> I read it backwards. Uh, red is Coors Banquet. Orange is Miller High Life. Miller High Life destroys Coors, destroys Coors Banquet in this side by side. That's so weird to me because the last can of Coors Banquet I had, that's funny. Orange, Miller High Life. Orange Miller High Life. Miller High Life smashes Coors Banquet. And that really pisses me off because Coors was so much better than the hams I had. Could it be the cans that I have? I don't know. July 2023. <laughs> July 2023. These are your exact same dates. Not that it matters, but um, just wondering if one was way more fresh. So Miller High Life winner. It's not even close. Miller High Life is... Hopefully you guys didn't click off of this when I first read that wrong and said, oh, haha, ha, of course. Hopefully you stayed till the end of the video. Miller High Life is the winner. There you go. So uh, I love doing these. I was expecting cores to be a lot better. High Life is just, whew. I wish, I'm kind of bummed that I had the cores thing last weekend because I was so just like, as soon as I smelled it and tasted it and I was like, oh, it's so much better than this one. I just was ready for that to be cores because it beat hams. I want to do that again. I want to do Coors versus Hams again down the road just to see. But High Life's the winner of this one, and it is not close. Wow. It's crazy, too, because High Life is 4.6. Coors Banquet. Is it 4.9? Oh, it's 5%. So even at the lower ABV, more flavor, better smelling, better beer in this battle. So that's it. I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. What do you guys think of these two beers? Talk to you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.